Yo, what is up, my dudes? This is Devon Plays, and welcome back to Angel Wings. We're on day nine. Day nine already. Uh, so last episode, um, we went out to Jay's bar. Got to hang out a little bit, get you know, get to know, or not really get to know Jay a little bit, but get on better terms. Anyways, another lovely morning. Kay sits on the opposite side of the of the counter. Taste testing the new culinary concoction she's created today. It's a want or it's a wonder how she stays in shape despite cooking so well and often. If it were me, I'd be eating at all hours of the day. I'd be massive. They'd have to get a helicopter to airlift me out of the house. <laughs> oh jeez. Hey Kay. <clears throat> she looks at me, momentarily breaking her contemplation of adjustments to make for next time. When uh what uh, when are you working next? I don't remember. I should look at my schedule. Why do you ask? I'd like to visit you someday. See what you do. She smiles sweetly. That would be lovely, but I think you should focus on work. You don't need to worry about that. Devin, I want to see you make friends and carve your own path. You don't want to waste time on me. What the freak is that supposed to mean? You're kind of sus right now. Like, not even just right now. Throughout the entire game, from ever since the beginning, you've been so sus. After finishing breakfast and helping clean up, I grab my things and prepare to leave. Have a good day, Devin. You too. I don't understand her. Carve my own path. What does that even mean? I just don't understand why she invests the time and effort in keeping me around. I definitely don't make enough money to pay a full share of rent. What's her motive? On the other hand, she seems sincere and genuine. I don't dislike her. I don't think I could. Yeah. She seems grand. Work is over with. What a relief. Well, that was fast. The fresh spring air is a welcome change from the cold winter I'm used to. I want to stay out for a bit and enjoy the weather. Unfortunately, I don't really have anywhere to go. Could take a walk around the block. Or, you know, I could... Yeah, see? Sola. Her number is right here. I think Nudie is off school around now. Should I text her and see what she's up to? But she also gave me her number so just so I could tell her if there are open seats at the coffee shop. Am I overstepping my boundaries? We're friends, right? Nah, we're friends. Shoot her a text. Yeah, we're friends, I think. I mean, we could be. Hey, Nudie, it's Devin. What are you up to today? I'm at the coffee shop. I found a table, too. Nice. Yes, I'm going right back. Hey. Hi, Devin. I see that Nudie has once again assembled a, a tall stack of books on the table next to her. It's a wonder she doesn't have back problems from carrying around what might as well be a bag full of rocks. How, of or how often do you come here? It feels like I see you here nearly every day. Nudie looks up at the ceiling and places a finger on her chin, briefly pondering the question. I'm here almost every day. It's a good atmosphere to study in, I think. When I'm studying with my friends at the library, we never get anything done. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I feel that. Nudie goes back to reading her book, stopping only to quietly turn the pages or make a quick scribble in her notepad. I can see her eyes moving from left to right, slowly making their way down the page. She seems compli- or she seems complicated. She seems completely locked into this book. Must be an interesting read. Despite not wanting to disturb her, I feel a growing curiosity about this enigmatic schoolgirl. Do you really like read or do you really like reading? I can't even freaking read. I can't even speak English. What's interesting about it? I don't know. Hmm. I like it. It's fun because I can imagine a lot of things. Fantastic possibilities, all that. That's why these historical literature books aren't as fun for me. I don't think there's much to imagine there. What kind of fantastic possibilities do you mean? Uh, like fun stuff. New adventures. Lots of crazy things. It's fun to dream. I like fantasy series, you know? The hero who goes on an adventure and meets new people and fights off evil or something? Maybe. I don't know. And it's like... Maybe something like that exists in real life too. Maybe not dragons or anything, but adventure? New friends? I don't know. She flashes a sort of half smile before returning to her book. Uh, I think you're right. I wish reality was that interesting. Maybe. Reality could be that interesting, but a lot of us choose not to. Whether we believe we don't, or whether we believe that or not, sometimes we just choose not to. I think you're right. About fantastic adventures and new sights, new people. That seems pretty likely to me. 
I mean, that's what I'm going through here, isn't it? Her face lights up as she cracks a wide grin. I hope so. I want to experience something fun, too. You don't get enough of that from school? No, it's not nearly as interesting as I thought it would be. I have to focus on studying so much that I don't even know what I'd do. I'm trying to figure that out as well. What to do, that is. Minutes pass, with Nudie making her way through a sizable portion of her book in that time. In the meantime, I've just been sipping on my coffee and people watching. I could probably stand to do something more productive, but there haven't been many opportunities to relax since I've been here. Every day is a whirlwind of activity and embarrassing moments. Just sitting there taking a sip of my cup of coffee. Nudie stands up and stuffs her books into her bag. Off to see your friends again? Yep, glad I could at least get some work done while I was here though. See ya, Devin. See ya. <laughs> my friend. Your first game with the team is in two days. Show up at this address by 5 p.m. for your physical. Oh my gosh. Okay, we really need to get this straightened out, okay? We really need to get this straightened out. Wait a minute. What? What? Are you playing dumb? You're signing your contract with us tomorrow, right? What the heck do you freaking mean? I'm so terribly confused. The GM told me he already sorted these details out. What's signing? What GM? Lady, you need to you need to answer. Oh, I thought I could actually click decline. Are you messing around with me? New Elvis Angels, the professional basketball team. What? You showed up for tryouts the last couple of days, right? Do I have the wrong number? Yes, you surely do. What? A professional team? No team I've ever heard of. Show up tomorrow. We'll get it all sorted out. Um, professional basketball team? Are you freaking kidding me? Um, I didn't sign up for that. Aces Basketball League? A mixed gender basketball league with hard limits on number of male or female players on each team. An average attendance of over 10,000 spectators. Minimum contracts start, uh, starting at... Okay, we, we'll never know. <laughs> Dang, day 10 already. Oh, wait, no, that whole thing was day 9. Wait, oh, I don't know what I'm saying. With the previous daunting project behind me, I'm beginning to comfortably settle in at work. Minor reports, bland corporate pres presentations... It's not so bad. I find myself putting in a fair amount of effort despite not having much of a reason to. My, pro my proposed salary is generous for my lack of experience, but I don't know how long I'll be around here. I have yet to put any major thought into my future plans. I suppose the mindless work in front of me helps avoid that conversation. But why is the rent at K so expensive? What a crook. Almost done with reports, then I can move on to spreadsheets. My gaze wanders over to Heidong's desk. I can see her leaning back in her chair, staring at the window, out the window again, like she wants to crawl out and escape. Do you ever actually work around here? <laughs> I did it all. All of it? It's 10 a.m. I said there's a lot of free time here. I didn't lie. I just stare out the window and text Jay most of the time. <laughs> she wants to buy a dog. She wants to name it... Oh, okay, I don't like that name either. So ridiculous. Yeah, so is your nickname. <laughs> Just saying. I ain't trying to be a hater, but I'm a hater. <sighs> I hear a chair rolling over. Oh, no. What you doing? Uh, some reports and stuff? I'm kind of busy. I'll keep you company. Uh, sure. Hey. In the corner of my eye, I can see Heidong spinning around in her chair while playing around on her phone. After a few minutes of constant revolving, she stops and stares out the window. Do you ever look at the ugh. Do you ever look at the birds outside? Um, uh, my computer faces the opposite way. They're cute, hopping around on their little legs and stuff. Um, oh, sorry, I shouldn't bother you. Yes, please, I'm trying to work here. She goes back to spinning in her chair. Oh my gosh, like a little kid. <laughs> it's kind of boring, isn't it? What is being here? Don't you wish there was something more? Yeah. In the end, I didn't finish everything for the day. Maybe it was Heidong distracting me. Or maybe I was just curious about the things she said. If I was sitting idly in a cubicle for 8 plus hours a day like her, I'd probably lose my mind too. I find myself making my way towards Jay's bar once again. Oh my gosh, we're gonna get whooped again. 
The dim lighting and gentle pounding of music over the speakers is relaxing, especially after spending the day under fluorescent office lighting and the dull drone of AC. When I arrive, it appears that Jay isn't there. Instead, I can hear the dull thud of bass and singing? When I walk past the bar and around the corner into what appears to be a dance floor, Oh, snap, okay! Dancing. Dressed in blue mood lighting with the smaller gold lights darting around the room, the shade of a band is barely visible on the far end. The sparse crowd half-heartedly cheers and soon dissipates as the song ends. Jay is start or standing center stage, clutching a microphone. That couldn't have been her singing, right? It doesn't appear that there were many around to see the performance. She makes eye contact with me, leaping away in shock. Oh gosh, don't tell me you were listening to me sing. I heard it. It was awful. <laughs> Must have missed it. Uh, let's, let's poke a little fun in there. I heard it. It was awful. You're the worst. I know you weren't here. Because there were only like three people here. <laughs> exactly. Hey, are you making fun of me? Get the heck out. <laughs> I only fill in when someone cancels. I don't think I'm a very good singer. Yeah, your speaking voice is so annoying. I'm not surprised. Oh, oh, what the heck? Hey, can you hit a paying customer? You haven't paid for any drinks yet. Touche, <laughs> touche. <laughs> a voice calls from the kitchen. Jay is the best. It's these customers that don't know talent when they see it. Who was that? Oh, my boss. He's always in the kitchen. He's learned to yell extra loudly to compensate. And you can't hit the customers. I've had enough lawsuits in my life. I don't need another one. You can't trust lawyers or anyone. What? Um, I can play the guitar too. She picks up a nearby guitar and strums a brief melody. All right, that was actually kinda cool. That sounds like sarcasm. She wipes the sweat off her brow and hops off the stage carefully reorganizing the hair stuck to her forehead. So why are you here again? Because I like you. <laughs> hey, dog makes me want to drink. Uh, no reason. No reason at all at all. Jay rolls her eyes and sighs. The remaining handful of customers maintain idle conversation, leaving Jay with nothing to do. She rests her head on one hand while scrolling through her cell phone with the other. Without something or someone to egg her on and fire her up, she seems quiet, bordering on reticent. Reticent. I guess I should add some fuel to the fire. Who are you texting? Your crush. I'm about to get knocked out again. <laughs> she drops her phone and turns beet red. What are you talking about? I don't have a crush. No, not even. No, shut up. The one you were talking about the other day at dinner. I, I have no idea what you're talking about. It's none of your business. She crosses her arms and turns away, aimlessly shuffling cups around on the counter behind the bar. Ooh, somebody got a little crush. Is he cute, at least? Yeah, much cuter than you. Whoa, okay, all right, I see where this is coming. I see, or I see where this is going. Yeah, yeah rude. Didn't mean... <laughs> no, 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 it's mean. All right, day 11. This seems to be quickly becoming a near daily occurrence. Nudie sits in front of me, quietly reading her novel, occasionally stopping to, to scrawl some quick notes or mark an interesting page with a sticky note. She seems to have no problem with me observing her day in and day out. Maybe she doesn't notice. Are these books really for school? You seem to be burning through them. Nudie looks at me before laughing nervously. Some of them are, but most of them aren't. Are you actually doing any schoolwork when, school when you're here? I, I can't do any work when the sun is out. What? Why? When the sun is out, all I want to do is go outside. Lay in the grass, watch the cows go by. You know what I mean. I want to enjoy the daylight. I do not blame you at all. What? Why are you looking at me like that? You realize you're in a coffee shop every day, not outside in the grass, enjoying the day. Nudie sighs and smile, smiles awkwardly. There's... There's sun shining through the windows, and the smell of fresh coffee makes me more productive. It sort of does, anyway. You don't even have any coffee. I've never seen you buy anything here. Nudie reaches into her bag and pulls out a silver tumbler, holding it into the air towards me. I'm a poor student, after all. Please, 
You're asking me to... Wow. Please. She pouts like a, pup, a lost puppy. Saying no to this would be a true challenge. <laughs> Alright. Fine. I snatched the tumbler from her hands. Fine, but don't say I never did anything nice for you. Nudie smiles, exposing her pure, pearly white teeth. Thanks, Devin. You're the best. <sighs> Freaking trash. <laughs> Air, black coffee. I'll take anything. I'm not picky. Nudie immediately goes back to reading. Her literary consumption is actually impressive. It seems like she can finish an entire book in one or two sittings. Maybe she's a poor student because she spends all her money on books. That's what libraries are for, after all. Still, in this day and age, it's unique. Almost refreshing to find someone who finds value in physical media. Why am I a waxing poetic? Wait, why am I a waxing poetic about kids reading books? I feel like an old man. Whatever. I haven't known her long enough to come to any conclusions yet. I should keep an open mind. Oh, I was about to say, is this Sola? I swear if it is. Hey, just reminding you that I'll probably need a rent check from you soon. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Ah, who signs a who signs a text message anyway? Yeah. So the team was supposed to bring in a veteran player who no showed on the tryout, and that was the day you just happened to be there. Wait, seriously? Is that why she expected me to know how to play? I mean, it must be. She's so busy. I don't think she even learned your name. For all she knows, you could be the guy they were going to sign. What kind of professional basketball team holds trials at l random? <laughs> Random local gyms. I don't know anything about sports, Devin. You tell me. Are you going to go? There's no way I can. They clearly have me mistaken for a professional. But think about the contract. You'd never have to worry about paying me rent ever again. They'd kill me when they find out. They'll never find out. You'll just sit on the bench for a few weeks, collect a massive paycheck, and then you're free. And you can give me a little extra since I'm so nice to you. Dang it, Kay. This is not the time for your shenanigans. This must be illegal in some way. How? It's not your fault that they didn't do their research. I don't even know the first thing about the league they play in. Or the team! Kay pauses to think for a moment. Sola is one of the best players in the league year in and year out. The rest of the team, on the other hand, well, they obviously desperately need help. I think they've only won one game this season, and that's because the entire team was injured. That's... Okay, I, I don't know. So I'm saying, even if you join and play terribly, what's the worst that could happen? I've watched the games. It's sad. It's like Sola putting kids on her back out there. Seriously, you put even a little bit of effort and I'm sure she'd love you. So even if you don't play basketball well, you can at least be the best cheerleader in the world, right? Ah, I... No, I don't get it. I'll be there, but I think I should tell her the truth. You can do whatever you think is right. Sign the contract first, though. I'm just... I'm just gonna go. Uh, I make the walk to the address Sola sent me. Streams of spectators fall into the building through the massive glass doorways of the arena. A massive structure with a bright pink roof resembling a flower in bloom. A, oh, two towering vertical screens on either side of the entrance show New Elva City's star players. Number 13, Solian, or, or Sol, oh shoot, Sola, ah, uh, shut up. <laughs> Number 14, Jihyun. <laughs> the future player monoliths tower over over the steps like titanic great gatekeepers. Oh my gosh. This is real after all. Sola's celebrity status, the reporters and fans at every stop. Go to the locker rooms when you get here. The suit clad, sunglasses wearing security guards seem to re recognize me, relaxing as I approach the door. I involuntarily grimace awkwardly as I walk past them. I find my way to the locker room. Walls finished with luxurious dark wood panels, ceilings trimmed with warm pink lighting. You finally made it. I turn to see Sola wearing a white jersey with pink trim. Bold angels. Lettering adorned the front. Number 13, just like the billboard said. This is really real. Hey, listen. I, I have to tell you something. I'm sure it could wait until after the game. Come on, it's almost time for warm-ups. What? No! You ain't listening, girl. We need to talk, like, right now. Like, I am not professional with the one that you think is the one that does the, the, the stuff. I hope you're ready to play. No, I'm not. My back's broken. Uh, like, sp spinal. <laughs> um, 
Here's your uniform. Put it on and get out there. She tosses me a journey, or a journey, oh my gosh, jersey identical to hers, other than the number. Number eight. Come on, Devin, let's go. Jihyun slaps me on the back, pushing me out the to out towards the court. The massive cavernous arena is littered with fans from the front row all the way to the nosebleeds. A nerve-wracking amount of spectators, even though it's not a full house. Catching a glimpse of the other team casually shoot around, their team looks to be comprised of mostly very tall men. Our team seems very, very small in comparison. Hey Jihyun. She picks up the ball she was practicing with and turns to me. What's up? Nervous about your first game? Yeah, I guess you could say that. Don't worry, you'll do fine. I don't think you'll have to play much anyway. This is your first game, right? You knew? Oh, I think most of us know, except Sola. It's pretty obvious when someone uh, hasn't played before. She rubs her head while chuck chuckling awkwardly. Anyway, all she cares about is if someone can contribute. I think you can. Don't worry about it. Those guys on the other team look pretty huge. Do you think we have a chance? She looks over the other players and tilts her head. Who knows? When Sola's around, we always have a shot. Wow. She's, uh, I, I guess, Sola's MVP. Looking for Sola, I find her camped out a few feet from the basket, draining jump shots, jump shot after jump shot. She didn't miss a single one. Oh, snap. Time to go. Game on. Game on. Get your game on. Come on now. Better play your cards right. Uh, I spent most of the game on the bench so far. Thankfully, not yet called upon to be publicly embarrassed. Unfortunately for the rest of the team, they're doing a decent job of that. We're down by 20. Oh my gosh. <coughs> Sola's heroics, unfortunately, aren't helping on the defensive end, where the opposing team seems to be scoring at will. The difference in athleticism seems to be too great to overcome. Get up, Devin. You're in. What? I meant to do what? Freaking get stomped on? Ran over? Tackled? <laughs> Me? Did I stutter? Let's go! Entering the game number eight. Devin. I'm not ready for this. I'm... Oh, okay. Before I can even collect my thoughts, the game jumps right back into action. Tries to stay in front of my target and just staying out of the way on offense, just like we practiced. Despite quickly becoming winded and exhausted, I've almost forgotten that I'm in a stadium with all these people. It's like we're just playing pickup games at the gym. Getting blown out and playing garbage time might be why. And playing garbage time? Oh. As I look around, most of the crowd seems to have left early. Oh, wow. Even Sola goes to the bench. A sign that we've waved the metaphorical white flag. According to the si uh, scoreboard hanging above our heads, she scored the vast majority of the points for our team. Angel 43! Army 60! <laughs> Army? Really? Uh, A the AOA Elvis Angels versus the BTS Army. I don't know. Anyways, good work, guys. We'll get them next time. Uh, yeah, sure. Sola dejectedly s slinks to her locker. I think you did pretty well out there, Devin. I didn't really do anything. I just played the last few minutes. For your first game in a professional league? Pretty good. I thought you were going to make a fool out of yourself out there. I, did I not? Hey, anyway, don't worry about the loss. It happens. I hear it happens quite often. That came out worse than... Oh, yeah, yeah, that sounds pretty bad. I didn't mean... It's okay, you're not wrong. We haven't won a lot of games lately. Last season, we almost set the record for fewest wins ever. Wow. She smiles and laughs. Hey, could be worse. Cheer up. Anyway, I'm gonna shower. See ya. Wait, is this a co-ed locker room? Anyway, I guess I'm free now. <clears throat> I should go talk to Sola. I mean, I'm here. I might as well. I stroll towards Sola's locker, where she slumped in a chair with the towel draped over her head. Hey. She barely reacts to my presence. Hey, not bad out there. You think so? Well, you certainly didn't do any worse than the rest of us. It's alright, losing sucks, but we'll keep working hard. Actually, that's what I came to talk to you about. Hmm? We're gonna win some games this year. More than last year. No! 
No, 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 what are you doing? No, you're supposed to tell her you're not who she thinks is. She perks up, the towel sliding off her head and onto the floor. You're confident. I know we can. She chuckles and looks up at me. Okay, I'll hold you to it, Devin. Freaking trash! You better do everything you can to hold your end of the that, that bargain. Oh, oh ah, ah, I do my best. She stands up and grabs a ball out of her locker. We can start right now. Wanna get some shots up? My legs are already jelly from the few minutes I played, yet Sola is ready to go again. Oh, all right, all right, let's do it. Oh, she smirks. I'm glad, give me a second to change, to change. Give me a second to change and we'll get you up to speed. All right, 100 layups, then 100 jump shots. Let's get going. What? No, I didn't sign up for that. What? She passes me a spare ball and darts ahead to the basket, laying it in with ease. Your turn. This is going to be a long night. I should have said no. I should have said no. <laughs> <clears throat> what are you doing? Get up off the floor. I, I, I can't go. I can't. Please. <laughs> Please. You're only at 34 jump shots. You've missed thrice that many already. My soul is leaving my body. I can see it floating before me. Sola crosses her arms and taps her foot impatiently, looking down at me like I'm a petulant child. After a moment, her expression softens and she extends her hand. You know what? Let's just go home. You've already done enough. So you're not the vet I thought you were. That's what I was trying to tell you. Uh-huh. I figured that out after seeing your jump shot. I think I've seen middle schoolers with better form. Okay, alright. I didn't come out here to tell you this just for you to freaking trash talk me. <laughs> hey, you got some real confidence to join my team anyway. And you even played. You fooled a whole stadium of people into thinking you knew what you were doing. Is that supposed to make me feel any better? <laughs> Don't worry, dummy. I'm not going to kick you off the team or anything. I don't write the contracts, the GM does. I'd rather have someone with a winning attitude than someone with all the skills. Hey, no, please kick me off the team. Please kick me off the team. <laughs> like, I'm begging you, kick me off. And you think I have that? You're the only one who stuck around with me. You're at least giving me hope. She sighs and looks up towards the stars. Thanks to you, I have a little faith that this season will be a little better than the others. Despite my initial reservations, Sola is more open and approachable than I originally expected. It's obvious that the team's success is the most important thing to her, but she has more of a human side than I first thought. Whether I can do anything to help the team is a different story. The Angels lost a tough one tonight. 43-67 to Army. Sola with 32 points in a losing effort. Chip, what did you see tonight? She couldn't do it all for them tonight, but thanks to a weak Eastern Conference this year, they're still in the hunt for the playoffs. The Muses topped the standings with a 9-1 record, while the Angels are in 9th place at 1-10. The top 8 teams will enter the playoffs at the end of the season. We hope to see more fights of them in the future, especially for a franchise that hasn't sniffed the postseason in half a decade. Muses? Crickets chirp and a gentle breeze blows on a warm spring night. Arriving at the footstep, foot, front doorstep, the scent of nature makes me cognizant of the life blooming around me. It also reminds me that I'm alone, and it reminds me of my allergies. But that's neither here nor there. It's late, yet nobody's home. Another lonely bowl rests on the countertop with a note. Devin, I'm off to work again. Don't miss me too much. So cheesy. So cheesy. Navar. What's happening? The freak was that? Phone shops near me? There are a few, but only one is open 24 hours. It's at that small mall. The streets are quite, aren't quite empty. I can hear the faint bass from the downtown festivities as stragglers pass by. Dressed in a flashy yet casual outfits. You want to try? Oh, you want to try, but not try too hard. It's a delicate balance. I feel the struggle. After a few minutes walking alone, crickets chirping, I start to question my late night decision. Despite Kay's objections, I find myself seeking her out, and I don't know why. Feeling of obligation? 
She pours her heart and soul into cultivating a home environment. Learning how to cook like a pro because of us. I feel like maybe the least I can do is repay the effort by caring about her. Maybe I'm mistaken. Maybe it's the debt I owe her for taking me in. Or a sense of moral responsibility. Or... Alright, well, I know we didn't finish day 11, but that's going to do it for this episode. Kind of running out of time now. Um, but yeah, more things are going on. We we played our freaking first professional basketball game, and we got destroyed. <laughs> but anyways, yeah. I don't know. I'm, I'm interested to see where the story is going to go. Uh, when we're going to meet, or if we're going to meet any more characters. Um, but anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video... Feel free to hit that like button. I would really appreciate it. And uh, if you guys are new here, maybe consider subscribing to the channel. Um, yeah, and this is Divine Plays, and I'm out. Peace.